In the heart of contemporary Cairo, in a modestly furnished apartment, Layla sat on the edge of their bed, her eyes lost in the clutter of fertility medication pamphlets and doctor's prescriptions. The clock ticked monotonously in the background, each second a reminder of the years she had spent yearning for a child. Across the room, Kareem, her husband, watched her with a mixture of love and guilt. His heart ached to see her in pain, a pain he had unknowingly deepened with his secret. Another invitation, Layla sighed, holding up a baby shower invitation. Seems like the whole world is celebrating new life. Kareem moved closer, taking her hand gently. We'll have our turn, Layla. The doctors are hopeful. Layla forced a smile. I know, Kareem. It's just hard sometimes. As Layla drifted into sleep that night, Kareem slipped out of the room. He drove through the sleeping city, his thoughts racing. In a small hidden apartment across town, he was living a parallel life with Aisha, his second secret wife. Kareem's visits to Aisha were filled with a mix of joy and guilt. She was heavily pregnant with twins. He watched her lovingly, yet each visit weighed heavily on his conscience. Aisha, how are you feeling? Kareem asked, trying to mask his inner turmoil. Better now that you're here, Aisha replied, her hand caressing her swollen belly. They've been kicking a lot today. They must know their father is here. Kareem's heart swelled and sank at the same time. I wish things were different, Aisha. I know, my love, but these children will know you and your love. That's all that matters. As Aisha's due date approached, Kareem's visits became more frequent. He found himself torn between two worlds, unable to fully exist in either. Then, the unthinkable happened. Aisha went into labor prematurely and complications arose. Despite the doctor's efforts, Aisha passed away, leaving Kareem devastated and alone with newborn twins. Kareem held his children, one in each arm, tears streaming down his face. He knew what he had to do. With the twins securely wrapped, he drove back to Layla. Standing at their door, babies in his arms, Kareem's heart pounded. He rang the bell, his entire body trembling. Layla opened the door, her eyes widening in shock. Kareem, what? Who are these children? Please, Layla, let me explain, Kareem pleaded, his voice breaking. Inside, he laid the twins on the couch and turned to face Layla. These are my children, our children. I've made a terrible mistake. Layla's world spun. Your children? Kareem, what are you saying? Kareem recounted everything. His second marriage, Aisha, and her tragic death. Each word felt like a betrayal, yet he couldn't stop. Layla listened in stunned silence. Anger, betrayal, sadness, a whirlwind of emotions engulfed her. Yet... As she looked at the innocent faces of the twins, something shifted inside her. You've lied to me. Betrayed our love, Kareem. How could you? Layla's voice trembled with emotion. I know, and I'll regret it for the rest of my life. But these children are innocent. They need us, Layla. Layla approached the twins, her eyes softening. They are innocent, and they've lost their mother. They need someone, and... And I need them. Kareem reached out. But Layla stepped back. I'll take care of these children, Kareem. But things between us will never be the same. As Layla cradled the twins, a mixture of love and sorrow filled her heart. They were not her flesh and blood, but in that moment, they became her children. Her resolve to care for them was her victory over the chaos Kareem had brought into their lives. In the quiet of their Cairo apartment, the air was thick with tension. Layla stood her eyes fixed on the twin infants Kareem had just brought in, her mind struggling to process the reality before her. Why, Kareem? Why would you do this? Her voice was a whisper, yet it cut through the silence sharply. Kareem's eyes were downcast, his voice barely audible. I thought I was doing the right thing. For us. For our family. Our family? Layla's voice rose, laced with incredulity. How could a web of lies and deceit ever be right for us? He moved closer, attempting to bridge the gap his secrets had created. I wanted children, Layla. We wanted children. I thought... You thought what? That having a child with another woman would solve our problems? The anger in Layla's voice was palpable. Kareem's gaze shifted to the twins, then back to Layla. I love you, Layla. This... This was never about not loving you. Layla approached the sleeping infants, her heart conflicted. And her... The mother of these children? Did you love her too? 
Kareem hesitated, the truth a heavy burden. It was different with Aisha. She was a means to an end. But I swear, you are the one I love. Layla's eyes filled with tears, her gaze still on the twins. And now she's gone. These babies, they're orphans because of your selfishness. I know, and I will live with that guilt forever. But right now, they need us, Layla. They need a mother. Layla turned to face him, her expression a complex tapestry of sorrow, anger, and an unexpected tenderness for the infants. They need a mother, yes. But what do I need, Kareem? What about my heart, my dreams? Kareem reached out, desperate to connect. I will do anything to make this right, Layla. Please, tell me what you need. Layla looked at him, her eyes reflecting a storm of emotions. I need honesty, Kareem. I needed it all along. Kareem nodded, a silent vow to be truthful henceforth. I promise, Layla, no more secrets, just us and these children. Layla sighed, her gaze returning to the infants. These children, they are innocent. They didn't ask for any of this. They deserve love, a home. Kareem's voice was hopeful, yet cautious. Does this mean? It means I will care for them, Layla interjected firmly. They will know me as their mother. But you, Kareem, our relationship will never be the same. Kareem's heart sank, yet he understood. I accept that, Layla. And I will do everything to support you and these children. As Layla gently picked up one of the twins, cradling the infant in her arms, a new resolve lit her eyes. These children will be my strength, my purpose. And you, Kareem, will have to live with the consequences of your actions. But for them, I will build a new life. A better life. Kareem watched, a mix of admiration and regret in his eyes. Layla, with a baby in her arms, represented both his greatest love and his most profound failure. In that moment, he knew their lives would never be the same again. But he also knew Layla would rise, stronger and more formidable than ever before. The sun had barely risen over the bustling streets of Cairo, but inside the modest apartment, the day had already begun. Layla, with dark circles under her eyes but a determined look, was expertly juggling the twins, her life now a relentless cycle of feeding, changing, and comforting. Kareem watched her, admiration mixed with a sense of loss. He reached out to help, but Layla's sharp glance stopped him. I've got this, Kareem. You should get ready for work. But I want to help. To be a part of their lives, our lives. Layla paused the baby in her arms gurgling softly. You are a part of their lives, but right now I need to do this my way. As the days turned into weeks, Layla's life revolved entirely around the twins. Her initial resentment towards the babies had transformed into a fierce love, each smile and coo comforting her wounded heart. One evening, as she finally put the twins to sleep, Kareem approached her tentatively. You're doing an incredible job, Layla. They're thriving because of you. Layla looked up, exhaustion etched on her face. I'm doing what any mother would do. But don't think this changes anything between us. Kareem nodded, the distance between them more profound than the physical space in the room. I know, I just... I miss us, Layla. There is no us, not like before. The us that was died the day you brought these children here. Layla's voice was steady, devoid of anger, but filled with a resolute finality. Kareem's heart ached, but he respected her boundaries, stepping back silently. As the twins grew, so did Layla's confidence and strength. She joined a local mother's group, finding solace and support among other women. Her story, though initially met with shock, soon became a tale of resilience and empowerment. You're amazing, Layla, one of the mothers said during a group meeting. Raising twins alone and dealing with... everything. Layla smiled a genuine warmth in her eyes. It's not easy, but my children are my world. They've shown me strength I never knew I had. Her words resonated with the group, her journey inspiring others facing their own battles. Meanwhile, Kareem's role in their lives had shifted. He was there, supportive, but always at a distance, his presence a reminder of a past Layla was slowly moving away from. One evening, as Layla sat reflecting on her journey, Kareem joined her, You've changed, Layla. You're stronger. More... Radiant. Layla looked at him, her eyes reflecting the journey she'd been on. I had to change. For them. 
for myself. I couldn't let your actions define my life. Kareem's voice was soft, filled with unspoken regret. I'm sorry, Layla, for everything. Layla's response was gentle yet firm. Your apology doesn't change the past, Kareem, but I've made peace with it. I've found my purpose, my strength, and that's not something I'm willing to give up. As Layla spoke, Kareem realized the depth of her transformation. She was no longer just the woman he had married. She was a mother, a survivor, a pillar of strength in their community. The climax of Layla's journey came during a community event, where she was asked to speak about her experience. Standing before a crowd, with her twins in the audience, Layla shared her story. I stand before you not as a victim of my circumstances, but as a woman who has overcome them. My children have been my greatest teachers, showing me the power of unconditional love and resilience. The audience listened, captivated by her strength and honesty. Layla's story was not just her own anymore. It was a beacon of hope for anyone facing adversity. As she concluded, the room erupted in applause, not just for her words, but for the journey she had embarked on. Layla stood there, a symbol of triumph over betrayal, her heart full of love for her children and a newfound respect for herself. Kareem watched from the back, pride and sorrow intermingled in his heart. Layla had emerged from the shadows of his betrayal, shining brighter than ever before. She had triumphed, not just as a mother, but as a woman of unparalleled strength and character. The Cairo sun set, casting a warm glow over the city. In her apartment, Layla sat with her twins, now playful toddlers, their laughter filling the space with joy. Her journey had transformed her into a pillar of strength and independence, a transformation that didn't go unnoticed. Kareem watched from a distance, the gap between them now a chasm. He approached tentatively, a hopeful look in his eyes. Layla, you've been incredible with the twins. I... I've been thinking, maybe we could... Layla interrupted him gently but firmly. Kareem... You need to understand. What we had, it's not coming back. I've moved on. For me. For the children. Kareem's face fell, the realization of his permanent loss dawning on him. I know I can never undo what I did. But I thought, maybe there's a chance for us. Layla looked at him, her eyes reflecting a hard-earned wisdom. Some things, once broken, can't be fixed. You made your choices, Kareem. Now I've made mine. As they spoke... Their neighbor, Fatima, knocked on the door. Layla, everyone's talking about how you've handled everything. You're an inspiration to all of us. Layla smiled, welcoming the warmth in Fatima's words. Thank you, Fatima. It's been a journey, but I'm proud of where I am today. Kareem's presence became almost invisible as the women chatted. The community's support for Layla evident. As Fatima left, Kareem attempted once more. Layla, isn't there anything I can do to make things right between us? Layla's response was calm but resolute. You're doing it, Kareem. Being a father to our children. That's all I ask of you now. The following weeks saw Layla's growing involvement in community activities. Her story of resilience empowering other women. Kareem watched her, his heart heavy with regret and admiration. One evening, as Layla returned from a community meeting, Kareem was waiting. Layla, I've been thinking a lot about everything. I was wrong. So wrong. Can you ever forgive me? Layla paused, her thoughts clear. Kareem, forgiveness isn't about erasing the past or what you did. It's about me moving forward. I forgive you. Not for your peace, but for mine. Kareem nodded, a mix of relief and sorrow in his eyes. I hope one day you can find it in your heart, too. Layla stopped him, her voice steady. Kareem, my heart has moved on. I've found peace, not in what could have been, but in what is. My strength, my children, my life now. That's my focus. Kareem's attempts at reconciliation continued, but Layla remained firm. Her independence and strength were her shield, her children, her motivation. The climax of Layla's journey came at a community event where she was honored for her courage and resilience. Standing before the crowd, with her children by her side, she spoke. Life threw challenges at me but I chose not to be defined by them. Today, I stand here, not as a victim of my circumstances, but as a victor over them. The crowd erupted in applause, their admiration for Layla palpable. Kareem stood at the back, clapping, his eyes reflecting a complex mix of pride and loss. As the event ended, Layla returned home, 
her children in tow, a sense of peace surrounding her. She had navigated the storm, emerging stronger and more determined. Kareem, now a peripheral figure in her life, finally understood the magnitude of his actions. He had lost the woman he loved, but in doing so, he had given rise to a stronger, more independent Layla. That night, as Layla put her children to bed, she looked at their sleeping faces, a smile of contentment on her lips. She had overcome the adversity brought on by Kareem's actions, finding a new sense of self in the process. The story of Layla's journey from victim to victor, her resilience in the face of betrayal, would be a tale told for years to come in the streets of Cairo. A tale of a woman who, against all odds, found her peace and victory.